there was this aura about the track. Even back in the early days, I remember just putting like a, a passage of the chorus lyrics up on um, Facebook and people were sharing it out and really taken to it. And it was like nobody would heard the song, nobody knew, knew it was even a song. I just literally put this thing out there and people were like really taken by it and it was hard to kind of write the, only a part of the song had been written at that point and it was hard to write the rest of the track because there was almost this pressure now because a lot of people were taken to this song and you know it was like you kind of had to give it everything because of how much people already were attached to the lyrics and the message of the track and it was like fuck we gotta we're gonna make sure this track hits the heights because if it doesn't we're letting all these people down you know what I mean and it I think I think we did it <laughs> so. I'll say so you've got an epic outro to it all as well I've said it in a few tracks for now it's like the breakdowns on that he's I still love it man yeah sort of little speed or if you don't really have those when you have like a league park you know it's not like you know a major league sort of league park but it just fits perfectly it was great you got yours that leads into it then leads into what I do so after probably one of the other and it just where we I do. was just going to say uh, um, Death Before is probably the only other one but it's not really that's more of a, like a carry on course yeah, sort I mean, of here, thing here, yeah, here you know, but Heroes is probably the only one where it went you know you're you do doing your thing and then lead and lead, I'll yeah. do my thing we never thing, really so. like We'd, Pretty cool. We've never been a band that wants to force leads. It was just it fitted. Didn't Whatever it? fits right is yeah. is the way it goes, it just man. Didn't fit, man. And the ending, it's like the idea from <laughs> the ending. It was never there for ages. It was like we had the track writ. I was sitting in the studio and we'd recorded pretty much all the vocals, I think. Then. And then I was sat in the studio, and all I remember was just hearing this fucking, you know, like I kind of took all the best bits from the track. <laughs> sort of made this little like fucking compilation at the end and it wasn't it was not done in that I didn't do it on purpose in that way it was like the kind of message the track was sending all the all the lyrics combined in the outro with all the samples just seemed to really just explain the story really well it was like it's almost like a, a history channel to the rest of the song you know what I mean it was like <laughs> it's just it was taken a step back Giving the track another kind of look, and and it got all the some of my favourite vocal takes on the album amalgamated into one section, but with brilliant moving samples behind it that just kind of it's just when it ends on that one piano and it right at the fucking end, man. It's just like yeah, it just oh, ends, yeah. ends it. Yeah, you feel it's it, don't you? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool, man. It was like um, it's pretty cool. it was like an inspirational speech video, wasn't it? Yeah, man. It was basically taking the best bits mm. of a film, taking the best quotes, taking the best lines, and just sticking them in to you know like reinforce the message. Yeah. And so, like you said, you know, all this all the, the way through the track, it's building up to this one big finale, and then the finale actually ends up being. That one single note. Yeah. And the one single note, you know, <laughs> you expect it to be a fucking fireworks and, and all this big fucking, you know, massive sound. And, a, and it's it a just powerful turned, message, yeah, it that is. song, because there's so many people in life, man. You work, you fucking, you, you have kids, you eat, you shit, you fucking die. That's it, man. That's, that's 90% of people, man. And, you know, every, you know, Back in fucking medieval times and shit, there was always people making names for themselves for certain things, whether it was good or bad. You know what I mean? And everybody in the world wants to be remembered for something. For something. Whether it's good or bad, everybody wants to be remembered for something in their life. They want to be recognised. And that track is that. That's the message for everybody. It's saying, you will be remembered for something. There is something in your life that you will do that somebody will go to their fucking grave with that you've either mm -hmm. helped them with or fucking <laughs> or done shit with them with there's something that you've done in their life that will have affected them and that that's what that track sends out that message is that you know you've affected people in a positive or a negative way and you do matter you know and that's 
sometimes we'll question ourselves with that because there's so much technology and people are posting up statuses about nothing. And you, you know, everybody wants to matter in the world for, for whether it's positive or negative reasons. And that's what that track is kind of relaying in the message is that you will be remembered for something. It's down to you to choose what that is going to be. Would you, would you remember time and time again?